So let us start with our new topic, nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation, and along with nitrogen fixation, we will study about nitrogen cycle. So first, let us start with nitrogen fixation. Now, this picture which is given here is a picture of root root of a leguminous plant. Root of a leguminous plant. Leguminous plants like groundnut, like pulses. Yes, pulses. So this is the picture of root of a leguminous plants, and these structures, these structures which you can see, these are nodules or root nodules. We can see. These are root nodules, all right? So these root nodules are filled with a bacterium, which is known as rhizobium bacteria. Rhizobium bacteria. So these root nodules consist of a bacteria known as rhizobium bacteria. This rhizobium bacteria and this leguminous plant lives in symbiotic relationship. This shows symbiosis. Symbiosis means leguminous plant and rhizobium both benefit each other. Both benefit each other, right? In which way they benefit each other? Leguminous plant provide food shelter to rhizobium bacteria and rhizobium bacteria provide usable form of nitrogen to the leguminous plant. This is what happens in symbiosis. Both organisms benefit each other. So here, this relationship between rhizobium bacteria and leguminous plant is beneficial for both the organisms, plant as well as bacteria, right? Now, what happens in atmosphere? Nitrogen is present in this form, nitrogen gas. This is the form which is present in atmosphere. But this atmospheric nitrogen is not useful for plants. Plants cannot use this nitrogen, although 78% of nitrogen gas is available in the atmosphere. But this form of nitrogen cannot be used by plants directly. So there is a process which is known as nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation. So nitrogen fixation takes place, means nitrogen, nitrogen gas is converted into usable form of nitrogen. Usable form of nitrogen like nitrates, nitrites, and ammonia. These are some usable form of nitrogen. So rhizobium bacteria and other nitrogen fixing bacteria convert this nitrogen gas into usable form of nitrogen. They absorb this nitrogen gas and convert it into usable form of nitrogen like nitrates, nitrites and ammonia. So these forms comes into the soil 
and then these are absorbed by other plants. So this process in which gaseous nitrogen or atmospheric nitrogen is converted into usable form of nitrogen is this is known as nitrogen fixation. This process is known as nitrogen fixation. And this rhizobium bacteria is an example of nitrogen fixing bacteria. Nitrogen. Now let us study about nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle. So as we have seen nitrogen, nitrogen is present in this form, nitrogen gas in atmosphere. So nitrogen gas is present in the atmosphere. Okay. This nitrogen is converted into usable form of nitrogen so nitrogen is converted into usable form of nitrogen by lightning process and this form usable form of nitrogen Usable form of nitrogen like nitrates and nitrites. Nitrites or ammonium. All these forms comes into soil. So lightning. What happens? Lightning is a physical process, right? When lightning takes place, then temperature and pressure in the atmosphere increases. And this chemical change takes place. Due to change in temperature and pressure in the atmosphere, this chemical change takes place. Okay. Another process is by adding fertilizers. Fertilizers are added in the soil. And do you know fertilizers are directly absorbed in the soil or directly absorbed by the plants, right? Because these are in soluble form already. Then there is a process which we have read just now Biological nitrogen fixation. Biological nitrogen fixation. And it is done by some microorganisms like rhizobium. Rhizobium is one of the example of nitrogen fixing bacteria. So this rhizobium bacteria convert nitrogen gas into usable form of nitrogen like nitrates, nitrites, ammonia. All these forms comes into the soil. These forms then absorb by the plants. And plants are used by animals If these forms come absorbed by the plants and plants are further used by animals, then animal and plant waste, waste from animals and plants comes into the soil. This waste again uh, decomposers convert this, these waste into usable form of nitrogen. All these forms again converted into nitrogen gas by another form of bacteria known as 
anti-nitrifying bacteria. Denitrifying bacteria convert usable form of nitrogen again into nitrogen gas. Okay, so this is how this percentage of nitrogen in the atmosphere is maintained. All right, let us see how, uh, uh, let us see it again. Nitrogen gas in atmosphere, 78% of nitrogen is there. Nitrogen in the soil, which is usable form of nitrogen, is used by plants. And how it is coming? It can be added by fertilizers. It can come by a process known as lightning process due to high temperature and pressure. Um, at the time of lightning, converts this nitrogen gas into usable form of nitrogen. Then there is another process, biological nitrogen fixation, in which some microorganisms convert this nitrogen gas into usable form of nitrogen like nitrate, nitrite, or ammonia. All these forms are absorbed by the plants. All these forms can be absorbed by the plants. Then plants are taken by animals, plants are eaten by animals, and animal and plant waste decompose and again nitrogen is coming into the soil. Now this, all these forms, all these different forms of nitrogen needs to be converted again into nitrogen gas. And this conversion takes place by another form of bacteria, denitrifying bacteria. And one of the example of denitrifying bacteria is Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas is a bacteria, is an example of denitrifying 